We just personalized these door signs right here at our craft booth off the grid using our X-Tool F1 laser. And stick around to the end because one lucky winner is gonna win one of them. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're going off the grid. We want to show you how you can personalize your signs right here at your craft booth, real time, on site, without any, well, I guess there's a few wires connecting a couple of these <laughs> things, but we're using our Wi-Fi access, we're using our power pack, and we can laser cut wood for our signs right here at the craft booth. On the spot. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We need a laser. We're gonna use X-Tools F1 portable laser. This thing is meant to be on the go. We're also adding the slide extension, which is gonna allow us to cut names up to 16 inches wide. Four inches tall, 16 inches wide. We don't wanna choke out our customers, so we have the X-Tool fume extractor. And we're gonna use our Viver portable power station. Viver sent this to us. It's been a lifesaver in our craft booth. This is gonna run our fume extractor and our F1 laser. We needed a laptop to actually connect to the laser. We're gonna cut our names out of this eighth inch birch. And then we've created some new designs that we think are perfect for personalization. We have our new pineapple, our monogram, a sunflower, and all of these are available in our store at kngmaker.com. You can get these as unfinished kits as well as SVGs. We also needed a hot spot, some paint, and glue. Step two, we're gonna set up the F1 laser. We've already shown you how to set up the overall setup in a previous video. All we had to do today was add the slide extension, which is simply setting it here on the base plate, plugging it in, and then choosing laser extension. It was super simple. Step three, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're using this eighth inch Baltic birch. We're gonna load it in and jump into creative space. Here in creative space, like I said, we're gonna select laser extension. We're gonna change our material to three millimeter basswood. We're gonna type in our name. And then we're gonna select output, cut, manual setting, blue light. We're gonna set our power at 100%, our speed at three. Make sure that our text is merged and hit start. small one and <laughs> now we paint <laughs> we're gonna pop this little guy out of his uh, little shell actually I'm gonna keep him in there because oh, I don't have uh, him in there. I, don't, I didn't think to put something down on the tablecloth so and we have a paper plate yes we have all of our little paints and some uh, little plastic IV bag look at things of course we have our rollers our trusty rollers I like painting them black because with that char, you won't even see it with black paint. Yeah, I think this is gonna be great. I think I'm learning that I'm gonna need a little something on my tablecloth here. Yeah. A little better paint station. I mean, don't miss it, it's gonna be quick. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was a quick paint. Now, I don't think I can leave it in there because... I think it'll get stuck. It, it, yeah. Have you ever painted any of your letters into your frame? We have... Several times. I didn't even need one. Just 
come in with a juicy enough roller at the beginning of the day. A juicy roller? A juicy roller. Seems to be good to go. A wet roller full of paint? Yeah. I gotta double bag this one. This paint only takes like two or three minutes to dry, so. <laughs> Step five. <laughs> now we glue. <laughs> now we're gonna glue it out to the backer. Let me grab the backer. Kim says we're gonna eyeball them. Yeah, I think we can, especially with it in script, I was gonna eyeball it in individual letters and he was not having that. No way, I think that's, that's insane. All right, yeah, get your overhead. You ready? Yep. That's about right. Woo. Hey, it landed right in the spot. Yes, she did. Give it a minute to dry. It only needs like 30 seconds. We'll give it one full minute before we manhandle it and start passing it out to the customers. Have laser will travel. <laughs> what do you think about our off the grid personalization? I'm pretty impressed that I'm able to go off the grid and still get my job done. I was worried about this being eighth inch and not looking great, but it looks great. I mean, it doesn't matter eighth inch or quarter inch. I think the personalization just kind of shouts it out yeah. and stands alone. Stan <laughs> and the cheese stands alone. <laughs> How would you do this? How would you use this for personalization? Would you get something personalized like this at a craft show? Would you, yeah. Would you per purchase a personalized sign? I'm thinking like maybe 10 bucks more, whether it be laser engraved or laser cut your name and put it on there. And we haven't even shown you guys the rotary tool. The rotary attachment goes with this as well. So if there's something that you wanted to personalize that's round, a tumbler, who knows what else. Yeah, I mean, with this be. thing that we can travel <laughs> with now, I mean, it's unlimited what we can do with it. What would you do with it? Yes. Leave us a comment down below. And you know what we'll do? We'll pick a comment down below. Random comment. Turn you into a winner. And we'll throw your name on one of these signs and ship it to you. Leave us a comment which sign you would like. What you would do with the, uh, the personalization. And maybe your last name. And you know what? No. We'll message you <laughs> to get your last name and your address. You don't have to put yourself on blast. <laughs> But with that, we're about out of time. I gotta pack this show up and put it all in the trailer. You gotta go tell me what personalization you want. So, we will see you and next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Maybe we'll be indoors next weekend. <laughs> we don't it's know. a little warm out here today. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget to join us on Tuesdays where we do a test cut Tuesday. That's actually where we made these first couple of designs and tested them out. We sure did. And then we did the personalization on the spot. All right, go on, get out of here. I'm, in. I'm out, I gotta go pack up. That's like the worst part, traffic. Traffic unpack day. <laughs>